in. Okay. Welcome to my first real video. Let's do uh, a post bag. Holy shit. Can't even see where this is sealed. Uh huh. Absolutely have no idea what this is. Make a mess. Let's have a look. Oh. Jesus. No, that wasn't where it was meant to separate, but. Okay, I'm just going to clean up and then we'll come back. <clears throat> okay, back again. So what we have is the Fenerisi Mini pocket oscilloscope. Now I'm only a beginner at electronics so and as much as I would love a real oscilloscope I cannot justify the money. So we shall start with this. Let's open her up. Okay, it's quite a neat little unit. It's arrived with some charge in it, which is good. So we'll turn that off for now. Short press to turn off, long press to turn on. Well, it has a little flip out stand. Which will make it very handy. You also get a manual. Uh, well, it's not quite Chinglish, the manual's a bit better translated than that, but yeah, nor would I call it English, but I think that'll work. We also got a USB-C charging cord for it, a little handheld, a little hand strap. And I think oh yeah, little alligator probes. Let's see, and in here we have uh, 
a BNC type probe. Oh yeah, and a little adapter to use that probe. Looks like there's a little screwdriver for calibration, some other bits and pieces. So <clears throat> I will um, do a video on this alone in the future. We'll put this aside. Next package. I think, yes, this is a section of LED wall panel. I've been looking forward to playing with this. I will just look up on um, I will just look up on AliExpress where I bought this to see how much I paid, etc. This was $22.69 Australian plus postage. Um, I got a few things bundled together, luckily, to save a bit on postage. And this was from DIY Electronics. No, sorry. Yes, this is from DIY Electronics Module 999 Store. We'll put this aside. I'll show this running in a different video. Please excuse the quality of the video and the audio. This is my first attempt and I will get, I would imagine, I will get better at it. And... Sorry, get better at it and um, get better equipment as I go. Now, speaking of better equipment, this was a cheap video camera that I bought on AliExpress. It was $38.93 plus shipping, Australia. So I'm not expecting great things from it, but I bought this because it has a reversible screen, so I can actually twist it round and uh, see what's going on while I'm recording. Unfortunately, oh yes it does. I didn't think it had a screw mount for a second, but it does. So we will test that out and do a video on that. And that comes with a shitty European plug, charging cable, and it looks like instructions in all Chinese, which is going to be Oh no, we've got some Chinglish instructions at the back. I've got one more parcel today. Now this one I really have no idea about. In case you're wondering, the reason I have trouble opening these is I've had uh, two previous brain tumours removed. I also have another one at the moment that I'm dealing with. That's left my left side partially paralysed, so I don't have the greatest control or strength yeah, on this side of my body, and particularly my left hand. And this hand, as you can see, the fingers are all a bit mangled, and I'm not sure if you can 
see the scarring, but I was actually using a table saw and um, chopped those three fingers off. They managed to get them back in a fashion, but again, they're not as good as they should be. I want to be careful with this because it feels like it could be. Oh no. It's package within a package. <coughs> okay. This is a whole bunch of stuff. These are called mystical fire flame. You drop them in a fire and it it um, produces various coloured flames. Uh, it's a mixture of different chemicals. For example, it contains, I know it contains copper, which will give you blue-green. I think it might have um, copper sulphide in there for the blue. Anyway, I will do... Some more info on that later. <laughs> we have a just a cute little device I bought for my car. Oh, by the way, this packet is from Timu. This is a. Uh, Replacement cigarette lighter that I just thought would be a bit cute in the car. That says fire missile. Ah, now this, I only bought one to test it. If it's good, I will buy more. I'll give you all the prices on these in a minute, but this is a handheld smoke flare. Ah. Now this is what I call a useless box. And it's just something I leave around, so if anybody's visiting or whatnot and any of my kids are here other than the one that lives with me and they get curious. And it's broken. Okay. That's not a big deal. We can fix that, I would think. Yep. Just poke the wire up. The spider's ass, I would imagine. No, it doesn't work. It's faulty. We will uh, make a claim for that one. What else do we have? Oh, these are just some knee pads for my son's volleyball. And a second one of those smoke flares. And I will, give me a second, I will go into Timu and we shall see what these cost. Okay, the mini confetti cannons were $2.68 each and five packets of the Magic Flame Party Beach stuff cost me $9.98. The Silly Spider Box, which I did get working by the way, cost $3.54. The Fire Missile Cigarette Lighter cost $6.85 
and my son's knee pads cost $5.28 for the pair.